am going to perform a song where spoons are a really key part of it. And then if I have time, I'll explain the reason afterwards. But to begin with, it's wonderful to be young. We don't have money, but we still have fun. The night doesn't start till about 3.30. Go to the club or go to the purdy. You don't like people and you don't want to go, but your friends are here. You forgot to say no. So put on mascara so you look awake. Try to be social because you need a break. There is no reason. This shouldn't be fun. There is excitement in the air. We have our whole lives. We have our freedom. I don't care. I don't care. On we. On we. On we go, on our own, on we, on we, on we go, on our own. Wake up in the afternoon feeling like why you could, you could get up or you could just cry. Your friends are happy and you are bitter. Getting jealous when you look at Twitter. <sighs> You don't want to shower, so you stay in bed. Refresh your mail and get in your head. Try to get motivated. Tell yourself lies like you would be happy if you got exercise. It's the weekend. You should see your friends. Anyone, anywhere. Should you go out or should you stay in? I don't care, I don't care, on we, on we, on we go, on our own, on we, on we, on we go, on our own, what's the point, what's the point? On we, on we, on we go, on our own. On we, on we, on we go, on our own. What's the point? All right, so some of you may be familiar that the spoon theory is about managing chronic illness. Um, the woman who came up with it has lupus and was trying to explain to her friend that when you have lupus or any chronic illness, it turns out, you start out the day with a certain number of spoons and it's your energy. So to wake up, that's two spoons. To take a shower, that's three spoons. Your body is aching from the hot water hitting it. Um, getting dressed, that's another three spoons. So it doesn't matter what the number of spoons are, just that when you have chronic illness, you wake up in the morning knowing I only have so many spoons and I need to spend them in a certain way so I can get through the day. So the song that I just sang was the double clicks on we, uh, on we, on we go. That's E-N-N-U-I -E -N -N and then on we go. So to me, that song really encapsulates what it's like for me. I have a few invisible disabilities, not ones that I feel like disclosing right this second. Um, but for me, uh, maybe my friends would like me to go out uh, when they want to go out, but sometimes I don't have any spoons left. I went to work that day and I have um, like one awful conversation with a client or just talking to my boss and I get in my own head and that costs some spoons because of the energy it takes to be social and interact with people. Um, so if someone invites me to go out on a Tuesday, you're probably not going to hear a yes from me. Whereas if you invite me to go out on a Saturday, you got a 50-50 shot um, because I might just be sleeping in on Saturday trying to restore some spoons that I've depleted over the week. So um, I hope that that kind of helps to explain things a bit better. Um, and then you might hear me or other folks with chronic illness in your life use the phrase, I don't have any spoons left or I'm running low on spoons. And now you'll know what folks mean when they say that. I will try to include a link to more information in the video comments. Um, but I would 
We really like to extend any love and gratitude to anyone who has been a good friend to me or anyone who identifies as a Spoonie. Um, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I really appreciate it. And um, love and kittens, I guess. Bye.